This gadget is supposed to neatly slice open the top of a hot dog to allow the meat to soak up the smoky aromas when we're cooking it. Today we're going to be looking at a whole host of different hot dog gadgets, and I want to hear your thoughts on them. So it arrived in this box, Karakt. It's a German product, and when we take it out, you can see this model has been decorated with the colours of the German flag. This whole centrepiece is a spinning spiky wheel. To start, I'm going to try it out on one of these jumbo sausages. I'm placing it on a chopping board, then took the gadget and started giving it a push over the top. <laughs> I found you do have to hold the sausage with your other hand, but it is rolling over quite easily. And now if I take a closer look, you can see it's really cut into it. Pretty cool, huh? It's all quite even, and I'd say it's worked pretty well. So I tried it with another one quickly. But next I want to try it out on this really long one. You can see the wheel biting and cutting in as it goes. It does push along quite nicely. Oh, that's a shame, at the very end I pulled it off. But yeah, look at that, it's really cut down deep into it. Of course, you can kind of control the depth and you don't have to push down as hard as I was. Let's try it one more time on this thinner, small sausage. Again, I'm going to push down quite hard to see how close it gets to cutting all the way through it. You can see now the cut lines really are quite deep, but it has held together. So let's see what they're like when they're cooked. I'm placing all four onto this barbecue, and after just a few minutes, they started to open up. I turned them over to cook the other side too. They are a little bit delicate, so you do have to move them carefully. And when they're done, transfer them onto a plate. Oh dear, that one snapped again. I really did cut it down too deep. These are looking good though. So let's check them out. These have held together perfectly. It's really opened up the sausage. It looks nice and juicy. It should have absorbed all the nice barbecue aromas. This one looks pretty cool too, but I definitely cut down too deep, so it is quite fragile. And the little one worked out well too. I put it in this hot dog bun, and it's really cool infusing the sauce down into the meat. But I'm also adding a bit of mustard. Look at that, that does look delicious. Next we're going to take a look at this thing. It's another hot dog slicer. And it looks like it does a similar thing to the last one. Let's see how it compares. So it's this long kind of press with these lattice slicing blades embedded in the bottom. These are really sharp, so do be careful. I'm starting with this one, then take the press, and starting from one side, push it down onto the sausage, and kind of roll it back and forth over a little to cut it down in. <laughs> and look at that, it sticks into the gadget. And then we can peel it off. Because the knife blades aren't too deep, it can't cut all the way through. It just cuts down about a third of the way into the sausage. I did this on another couple, and I also tried it out on some of these smaller sausages too. I thought it might cut straight through, but that's gone well. But let's see what they're like when they're cooked. After just a few minutes on the barbecue, they've started to open up. And check that out, it's actually a really cool pattern. Really uniform, and they've opened up nicely, allowing those smoky aromas to infuse into the meat. And I'm covering mine with sauce again. Now, what do you think this is? It almost looks like a big piece of corn on the cob. But it's actually a drill for a hot dog bun. It's made up of these kind of squared off nodules. And let's give it a go. I took a nice fresh finger bun, held it in one hand, then tried drilling into it with a tool. And because the bun's so soft, it takes no effort at all to push the tool in. And I stopped just before I came out the other side. Take a look, and it's made quite a tidy hole. Then you can add in your sauces, and push in your hot dog. <laughs> that is really cool. You're not going to have sauce dribbling all over yourself, and it kind of makes it easy to hold. And if I try slicing it up, you can see the sausage has gone down all the way through. That's a cool little gadget. But what do you reckon? Would you use this thing? Is it worth bothering with? Or is it just more unwanted plastic? Next I want to look at this. Curler Dog Spiral Hot Dog Slicer. Open up the box, and we actually get two different sizes of these. So let's see what we got. I'll start with this yellow one. Open it up, and oh, check that out. So we just put a sausage inside, then close the lid, and it should cut it like a spiral. And this red one is exactly the same, but for smaller sausages. It seems to be built pretty well. It feels nice and strong. The hinge feels quite solid and the plastic feels quite durable. I'm looking forward to trying them out, so I'll start with a smaller one. I'm placing this little hot dog on top, then slowly close down the lid. I'm kind of expecting it to all be cut up into little pieces when I open this. Okay, so it's all been pushed down into the cutting blades, and to remove it you kind of just... Oh, I see, you can just roll it out. Huh, and look at that. It's definitely all still together, and there's this sort of spiral cut all the way down to the end. Well, that's really good, I'm impressed. Now let's try out the bigger one. This time I'm placing on this big fat sausage, closing down the lid, Oh, and I am having to push quite hard here. And when I open it up, oh, oh dear, it looks like I pinched a bit in the door. Peel it off, oh, that doesn't look too good. Yeah, this bit of sausage must have got pinched when I closed down the top. But if I remove it from the cutting blade, apart from that, it seems to have worked quite well. So let's try it with another one. 
This time, to stop it getting pinched, I pushed it down onto the cutting blades a little to start with, then closed over the top and pressed down. Now when I open it up, yeah, it looks perfect. Oh, maybe I pushed it down a little bit too far because it is a bit of a struggle to get off. But mm, there we go. And if we look a little bit closer, it really has cut it so uniformly. It's so neat, that's definitely impressive. Finally, I'm going to try it out on one of these really big sausages. Oh dear, it is a bit long, so I'm going to snap off the end. Line it up a bit straighter, then close over the top. Huh, this time it's stuck in the other side. It rolled out nice and easily though, and success again, it seems to have worked well. I can't wait to see how these cook. They are a little bit fragile. I placed them carefully down onto the barbecue. Then after a few minutes, you can see they started to open up. So I'm turning them a bit to cook them all around. And once they're cooked all the way through, they were looking great. This long one at the back is particularly fragile, so I'm having to be very careful when I move it. Ha, ah, there we go. They're all looking really good. This small one's fine. And even this one, where I pinched the sausage in the gadget, has cooked nicely. This one seems pretty much perfect. And there's nothing wrong with this one either. I do like how easy this gadget is to use, and how uniform it is. Again, this one's going in a hot dog bun, and it's been cut through so nice and deeply, there really is loads of space to run your sauce or toppings down in between. Oh yeah, look at that. And I'm using mustard as well. What's your favourite hot dog topping? Let me know in the comments. Hmm, that looks really good. These gadgets are great, I'll definitely be using them again. But let's see how these compare. Slice your wiener. Open up the box and it's these two curly pieces of plastic. They're actually slicers for different sizes of sausage. And I'm going to start with this thinner one, so we need the smaller red cutter. To use it, we kind of push the sausage through to get it started. Then I found it easiest to hold the cutter and rotate the sausage as we work it through. It does make quite a significant cut and it really does weaken this type of hot dog. I only got about halfway through with this one and then it snapped. And there we go, it does look a little bit chewed, but you can see what it's trying to do. Next I'm trying out the larger cutter with this larger diameter sausage. Again you've got to get it lined up and then you can start feeding it through. Oh dear, look at that. You do have to be careful, otherwise the leading edge can start cutting into the sausage like this. That's not what we want. I've got to be honest, I am finding this gadget really awkward to use. And then trying to feed the last little bit through without breaking it. Ah, there we go. I mean, it has done quite a tidy job, but I do find it really quite awkward to use. But I'm going to try the smaller one again with one of these long sausages. Line it up and start feeding it through. And this time it seems to be going okay. I'm sure it will become easier the more you practice. But as the very nature of the gadget is to compromise the structure of the sausage, it really is a very delicate operation. I did find as you get closer to the end, it can help to let it roll up the chopping boards as you rotate it through the cutter. Either that or you need three hands. Anyway, there we go. It is awkward to use, but this time it's done a pretty fantastic job. A really clean, uniform cut the whole way up the sausage. I cooked them on the barbecue again. And look at these, they really have come out fantastically well. But I do think the last gadget we used did the job far, far easier. Next I want to show you what's inside here. It came wrapped in this large amount of bubble wrap, and then I had to remove this bit of packaging, and it's this barbecue grilling cage for sausages. So, when I open it up, we can see there's space for six sausages altogether. I'm trying it out with these three different sized sausages to see how well it holds them. These two at the end are a lot smaller diameter, so let's see. Fold the top of the cage over to grip them, and this ring slides over the handle to lock it together. And there we go, it's supposed to make it easier to cook them. And when I try flipping it over, oh, straight away the smaller ones have fallen out. Oh dear, I'm just going to tuck them back in and see how we get on on the barbecue. So the idea is we just sit the whole thing straight on the grill and let them cook in the cage. And what's great is if you've got a barbecue with a lid like this, you can still close it down so it acts as a bit of an oven, and leave the handle poking out like this. And once the first side is cooked, you just flip it all over. Oh wow, the smaller ones didn't fall out this time. I think they've slightly expanded as I cooked them, or maybe they've curled round a little bit. And when they're cooked on both sides, just slide open the lock, and they're ready to serve. Or you could of course use the cage to transport them to wherever you're eating. If you like onions on your hot dog, you can use one of these hair picks to help you. Once you've peeled your onion and it's ready for cutting, first slice it in half, then take your hair pick or slicing gadget and push it down into the onion like this. You can now use it as a guide for your knife. It helps you to get nice, even slices of onion. And what's great is it keeps your fingers away from the blade as well, so it's nice and safe. 
It also kind of holds the onion together and it stops it falling apart like it sometimes can do when you're holding it with your fingers. So now we're ready to cook the onions. I'm pouring a splash of oil into this pan, heat it up on a nice medium heat, then tip in all the onions and leave them to slowly cook for 5 minutes or so. Do make sure to occasionally stir them and when they're golden they're ready to serve. They're perfect accompaniment for your hot dog. If you'd like to see some more really cool gadgets, like this hot dog slicer, you can click on the link. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching!